So, this is the Audio Technica AT5040. A beautifully designed studio condenser microphone only a few have been able to get their hands on. This mic is Audio Technica's most expensive condenser option, retailing at a total of $3,000. To be fair, not all Audio-Technica microphones are this expensive. Their most popular microphone is in fact sold for only a hundred dollars. And because of its price and sound quality, it can be found in almost every home studio around the world. The question is, how big is the difference really? So hey guys, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, my name is Edward Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel and as you guys can see by the thumbnail and title of today's video, we're going to be looking at the $100 Audio Technica AT2020 and comparing it to the $3000 Audio Technica AT5040. This is really going to be an interesting video to see how big the difference is between these two microphones and if it's worth it to pay 30 times more for a microphone phone like the AT5040. Before we jump into things, I would like to give a huge shout out to Sweetwater for making this possible and for sending these products. If you guys are interested in purchasing any studio gear, whether it's these microphones or anything else in the music world, I will leave some links down in the description below, so make sure you go and check them out. So to kick things off, the first microphone that we're going to have a look at is the $100 Audio Technica AT2020. And like I mentioned in the intro of this video, it is one of the most popular condenser microphones people go for when setting up a home studio because of the price and the quality you get for that price. In my opinion, I don't think there is a better sounding microphone for under $100, but overall it does have some flaws because it is still a budget microphone that doesn't necessarily tick all the boxes. When you purchase the Audio Technica AT2020, you do get a nice carry-on bag for on-the-go travel. You also get a basic stand connector for a simple setup in a home studio environment and in terms of look and design and build quality it's definitely a very solid microphone with a metal casing all the way around and the matte black finish is also super clean and classy. When we look at the frequency response of the AT2020, it definitely has quite a few bumps on the high end, which is to be expected with a small diaphragm microphone like this that really picks up the high end frequencies a lot clearer and not really too great in terms of the mid range and low end. Moving on to the Audio Technica AT5040, like I mentioned earlier, this microphone will cost you a total of $3,000. You can literally purchase 30 AT2020 microphones for the price of one of these. And the reason this microphone is so expensive is because it is handmade, put together by hand, and there's so many unique materials and features inside this microphone that make it so, so expensive. One of the big reasons the AT5040 is so expensive is because of its gold-plated large diaphragm. Usually with large diaphragm microphones, you don't have a lot of high-end frequencies standing out enough, and your mid-range and your low-end is really good but you don't have that high end frequency that you actually like to get with a smaller diaphragm type microphone and with this microphone Audio Technica has taken four small diaphragms put it together to make a large diaphragm and give you the balance of that beautiful high end mixed with the mid range and the low end. When you purchase the AT5040 you also get a really sleek looking case that's great for on the go travel or for just storing the microphone and a shock mount that's so unique a perfect magnetic slide in type function that can be locked to keep the microphone in place or unlocked when removing or placing the microphone in the shock mount. Really classy, unique, small details that obviously make the total price of this microphone so, so expensive. When we look at the frequency response of the AT5040, it definitely has everything you would expect for the $3,000 price tag. Nice flat frequency response with a great mid-range, great low-end, great high-end balance, and overall Overall, this should be a really natural sounding microphone. So now that all the talking is done, it's time to move on to the part we've all been waiting for, and that is a singing test between a $100 microphone and a $3,000 condenser microphone. On 
the dark, easy highway Cool wind in my head A warm smell of Kalitas Rising up through the air Up ahead in the distance I saw a shimmering light My head grew heavy and my sight grew dim I had to stop for the night There she stood in the doorway I heard the mission bell And I was thinking to myself This could be heaven or this could be hell Then she lit up a candle And showed me the way There were voices down the corridor I thought I heard them say Welcome to the Hotel California It's such a lovely place With such a lovely face There's plenty of room at the Hotel California Or any time of year You can find it here Okay, so now that we've gone through a singing test comparing a $100 Audio-Technica AT2020 to a $3,000 Audio-Technica AT5040, for a lot of you guys, you won't be able to justify paying 30 times as much for a microphone like the AT5040. In terms of sound quality, there is a huge difference between these microphones where the AT5040 is nice and flat, the mid-range is nice and prominent, the low end is well balanced, the high end frequencies are bright but not tinny and not harsh in any Anyway, and it's just such a beautiful natural sounding microphone that's clear and crispy and for the price that is to be expected whereas when you look at the AT2020 it does sound really really good for the price it does have quite a bit of a high end tinniness to it but that is to be expected for a microphone that costs around $100 and I mean if you're starting out in a budget setup you can definitely get away with the sound quality of a microphone like this because it has so much of what you need already and if you can really EQ and use a compressor and all of these small features to make your microphone and your vocals sound really, really good, this microphone will do a great job. But if you have thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars and you have so much equipment and you may be in a professional studio environment or a really nice home studio, this is a once in a lifetime type microphone that you'll probably purchase and never have to look at any other microphone again just because it is so, so special. So that concludes this video of my comparison between a $100 and $3,000 microphone and just a reminder that if you're interested in any of these products or anything from the Sweetwater store, I will make sure to leave some links down below. If you have any questions about today's video, just leave a comment down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up and if you loved it, subscribe down below and I will see you for another video next time.